In today's training, which is going to be um, quite short, is I'm going to talk about the three buckets you need to fill with a content strategy. So the three buckets that, that is actually strategic content rather than just posting content for the sake of it. I did a reel about this recently that was really popular, so I thought I'd expand it a little bit further. Obviously, in the reel, got only got 60 seconds to go into it. But there's three buckets that your content you want to fill. So you got to think about what content you're posting. And strategy. So people, a lot of coaches, 99% of coaches that I see, they're just posting content for the sake of posting content with no strategic thing around it. And they think this is going to get them clients or whatever. But reality is that we need to think about when we're posting content that is it creating followers, is it creating leads, or is it creating clients? It's got to fall into one of these three things. And the type of content that creates our followers and followers that then can turn into leads and then turn into clients and that's what we want to look at and why we're just creating content for that just builds engagement for likes and comments or whatever not all content is equal because you can get lots of likes and comments and stuff but it won't generate any clients because it's not you're not generating you're not doing content for your followers that can turn into leads and turn into clients so you need to think about different so we look at followers there's three different types of kind of posts really there's authority there's posts that create build authority there's posts that build connection between you and your audience and there's posts that get engagement between you and your audience so with authority it might be like this is how i'm different from others in my industry with connection you might look at um most people don't know notice about me but i'm secretly a huge fan of bar so you're building that connection with your audience and engagement will be something like for example um what do you personally you know what do you personally recommend for and it can be something that creates a lot of your audience not your potential followers that have an option that you want to turn into leads would actually engage with so that's the difference it's not just just to get engagement like watch your favorite film for example where you get loads of engagement but you don't know they're just they're not necessarily your followers that are going to turn into leads so it's the wrong type of engagement whereas if you had for example if your clients were potentially if you coach fit, fitness coaches for example so just say you for example your your coach and your um your your coaching fitness coaches then an engagement post would be I don't know what do you personally recommend for um improving your your leg muscles because the type of people that will respond to that will be all people that are fitness coaches that will respond to that engagement hence these are all your followers that have a potential to turn into leads and have a turn potential to turn into clients so that's where you've got to think of. you've got to look at it strategically like that when we look at leads then it's lead gen posts right so lead generation posts so lead generation posts will be for instance like um here's a client success story right because that will generate leads because you could say here's a client success story if you want similar comment below and i'll get and i'll, and I'll show you and i'll share with you or you can do one like i've done recently where um what i call hand raising posts where it's a post like who's a coach and wants my one hour day routine that gets me three to ten clients each month so the people that are responding to that hand raiser post as i call it really are a good potential people that want to become clients because hey in the get clients quickly program which is only six dollars a week that's what we teach teach i teach how to how to generate leads and how to generate clients in only one hour day so the people that we supply to that will be good people that could easily become potential clients in with that program as well actually every day you get an email with a post suggestion which either comes under one of these four things to so you're strategically building your content posts as well and you can do posts for clients now i wouldn't suggest doing these three but you can do posts a client's post would be for example um you know i've got a one-to-one -one, i've got an opportunity for people to work for me one-to-one -one 
blah 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 then, then that's where you can do it or I'm looking for to work with three types of so you could be like CEOs could be women you know I've got one on one with three women that want blah 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 and that would be an absolute a client post because people that reply to it are saying that yeah I want to work straight away so that would be a client and what you had to do is have a blend of these so you can't just do all of these type of posts or all of these posts all the times you have to have a blend of all three and that's how you should strategically are uh, building content and filling your three buckets of followers leads and clients so this is a bit more advanced training hope it helps hope it makes sense feel free to ask any questions if you want details of the get clients quickly program which is only six dollars a week and shows you exactly how to get three to ten clients working only one hour a day then um, just let me know in the comments and I'll, sit, I'll get you the link and I'll see you soon